We gotta bleach the base color first to remove the natural color and make it as light as we can possibly get it. So the colors show. Yeah, Danny's my hairstylist, massage therapist, physical therapist, uh, chef, nutritionist, you name it. She does it. I lucked out. Yeah. That last fight was the first time we did it, and people loved it. Just loved it. And uh, now we're we're gonna keep going with going with it. I like it. Ooh, that blue looks. Ooh. You know, some people are creative when, musically. For me, it's it's fighting and express myself that way. And then the hair is just you know. I just wanted to do it at the Ecuadorian flag. Then these girls are the ones creative on, on how to make it happen. So this fight is a little different. You know, DC versus Stipe Trilogy. You know, that's the legendary fight. And then then Cheeto and the co-main event. Uh, the hair was just a good, a nice little little extra layer to everything. Oh. There's no green. Yay. You're awesome. Fight week started, you know? It always starts for me on the Sunday. I like to get in early so that we have that day to just kind of relax and be in town because on Monday morning, you know, we go back to work as if we're still in San Jose. You know, this fight camp is gonna look very similar in terms of the people that travel with me. Just the most important ones don't get to go. You know, Daniel, Marquita, and Selena. Selena's seven and a half months pregnant and uh, it's just too risky for her to be in an airport uh, to be out and about. You know, it was tough saying bye to my family and them not gonna be able to be there. My son was asking what time I was gonna be at the hotel because he was gonna FaceTime me and talk to me, so that's hard, you know, because they've been there. But they're gonna be home and they're gonna be watching and rooting and praying that I can get the job done. And I know I will, I'm ready. Out of my pool. You guys paying the bill? Yeah, this ain't free. There's the buoy. <laughs> Little bubbles. <laughs> Little bubbles. I brought it for you. You want to go on it? One, two, three. Oh. Oh. I feel great, you know, I think uh, I trained my butt off, you know, in what, 10 weeks we had since we signed it. Two, two three, go. Three, come on. Yeah. Coming by fast, actually, but uh, another thing, too, is like training here at the house, I think it rejuvenated me a little bit, you know, I just, there was something different. Oh, oh yay. I spend more time with my daughter, and when I get my workouts, I get to see her while I'm working out, and she's screaming at me like, one, da, da, you know, it, it's, it's awesome, you know, it just puts a smile on my face. I'm excited for fight because you know you train so hard and it's almost a fight. The fight's like the easy part, you know, because like you don't have to worry about getting beat up or getting yelled at. You know, you just go out there and you do your thing, you know. And Whoa. it's on you pretty much because everything you train, you go out there and have fun, man. And that's what I do. And uh, just happy to you know end it finally on this trilogy. It's been a very, very long time. Whoa! Oh, you now you're just faking. Okay. You're just faking. We okay. yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's all good. Uh, he's, he's an amazing fighter. He's a great competitor. Fortune's last fight against me. That's, that sucks. <laughs> it's kind of crazy coming here for this fight and being like my last fight. And it's in such a weird time. Like, I mean, we've been here so many times to fight, and it's just like the most insane place in the world to fight, you know? People everywhere and, and like fans everywhere. and. Now it's just like, it's not going to be that. It's kind of crazy. I remember the first time I ever fought in Las Vegas, how excited I was because I had never, you know, we had just come from Strikeforce. 
this fight's gonna be a little more like your very first fight, don't we? It'll be more like that than anything I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. What was it called? Challengers? It was a Strike Force Challengers. But no, it's like it'll be like it'll be like fighting in the sparring room. But yeah. it, it was uh I fought Patrick Cummins. That was the first time I ever fought in Las Vegas. I remember being all excited because I was fighting at the, <clears throat> the Mandalay Bay. Yeah, I used to love fighters. those. No, I used to love those fights in those casinos. They were great. Obviously, T-Mobile's had, you know, a phenomenal arena, but... Just the whole vibe of fighting at Mandalay and at uh, MGM was, was real cool. I go through phases where I'll read a lot more. I think those two years off, I was reading like every day. This describes how I feel in the cage. The soul happens only when the artist disappears into the art. He is no longer separate. Some unknown force has done it through him. He knows that he has been possessed. That has been the experience of all the really great artists down the ages. I remember saying in my fights, I'm telling you, I feel it's possessed. I don't feel like it's necessarily me in there. Um, so it's it's weird going back and rewatching it because it's like watching it almost like for the first time. Thank you. You're welcome. Because you're such a good boy. You're so cute. You know that. All right, let's go throw a couple things in the suitcase. Things that I always take, my humidifier, an air filter, a couple video games, foam roller. Usually I'll have, I'll pack a couple sweet outfits with some sweet shoes and stuff for media day. But now it's all online, it just doesn't get me as motivated to dress as sweet. It's still cool doing the virtual stuff, but not the same. The fact that we can even fight, like, we're so lucky we can, we can go out there and, and make money doing, doing what we love at a time like this, so we can't, can't really complain too much. I'm gonna do like some sparring and some pads with all these guys. I'm gonna go like three rounds of sparring, and then we're gonna do a lot of pads. Trilogies are very rare, and to be involved in one is, is amazing. I remember going to Houston with Kane for the JDS trilogy and just thinking how special it was. So to be in that same situation uh, seven years later is really amazing for me. Stay relaxed, composed, give me angles at all times. He won't be able to find you at all. And I respect my opponent. You know, I think he's a phenomenal opponent. I think he's good. There it is. Chop up with that hook when he goes back down. But I also believe that I'm better than him. And I think that I win this trilogy fight. And I become the UFC heavyweight champion for the second time. Counter, there we go. That's it. You it good. You can't wait too much. It's a very comforting feeling knowing that I've done the work and that I can get the job done. Ah. Think about that right hand going around this you do really nice, very nice. A lot of teams, you know, you get a loss. Some people start to point fingers and, and, and want to figure out that this person didn't do their job right and this person didn't do their job right. One. One. That's it. But we've all figured out that we put our egos aside. We put, our, you know, everything in check because we're all after a certain goal. And, you know, me, Rosendo, Bob, Hav, Leandro, and everybody else who's been a part of what we've been doing for the last eight, damn near eight years. <laughs> There you go. So now, you know, we really get a chance to cherish and uh, wrap our heads and our hearts and our arms around these moments because every time the bell goes ding, it's closer to the last time that we're going to do this. And uh, it's, it's bittersweet, you know, every time because we're closing the chapter on that. And, you know, hopefully we're going to close it with our hands raised and, and uh, some celebratory vibes after the fight. Two, three. Ha. Two, three, body. Ha. Beautiful. Beautiful.